93.5 Jucasa Radio, the one station for all nations. I got to tell you, I've had a lot of pleasures here today, and uh, I, I'm a little bit starstruck right now, I got to say. Emmanuel Lewis is here, and this is something that you, you do on a yearly basis, right? Absolutely. This is on the, the annual list of uh, things uh, you must do, you know? So uh, we kind of take a moment out and pause, and uh, I love this. I love what it what it means. I I love uh, Dreamcatcher and 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 what it means and what it does to uh, people all over uh, from the states to Canada and and all the different programs that they support. So it's it's really something. Uh, but most people, you know, still got to get the word out so people know that you know it exists. But Dreamcatcher Charitable Foundation is real deal. It really is, and it helps so many people, and, and it's nice that you would come out and spend your time. Uh, let me ask you a little bit about your career and, and what got you here and very noticeable to, to a lot of people. For me, I mean, I grew up with you. We're around the same age. We grew up together, in my opinion, okay? But what really struck me was uh, roles like the role you did in Dickie Roberts. And, uh, you know, it, it's just great that you can you can uh, take what you've done in the past and, and apply it to, at that time, the, the present. You know, um, you know it, it's always good to work. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have different uh, roles that are, you know, different, uh, slightly challenging. Uh, but that was just straight fun. That was just something that I, I, I think I laughed my whole way through <laughs> each and every scene working with David Spade. I mean, it's kind of hard to to take the job too serious when you got somebody like him uh, working on the other end of you. Well, David Spade, he's uh, a, co a comic genius, really. I mean, this guy has done so much and, and made so many people smile and laugh. Who would you say, has, to, the, to this day, who would you say has been the one person you really looked forward to working with and look back and said, I'm really glad I did that? Uh, Sammy David Jr., uh, 100 percent that was my, that was my idol when I grew up I grew up he was my number one idol and to be able to work with him was uh, a dream come true now you mentioned Sammy Davis jr who I'm a huge fan of I was a big fan of the rat pack and I find that they had a freedom back then to joke around and maybe cross that politically correct line do you prefer that when you're when you're with people? Because I mean, these guys, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. and Frank Sinatra and all of the Rat Pack. I mean, they made a living off doing that. What's your opinion on that? Well, you know, that was pre-social media. You know, long before you know social media. And you know, you know, that's what that's what real comedy has always been about. You know what I mean? It's always about you know making uh, fun of the facts. Uh, whether it be uh, harsh or, or, or lighthearted. I mean, you know, you look at the life story of, of Richard Pryor. He took, you know, a dark past and made it something extremely uh, enjoyable. And, you know, he kind of paved the road, you know, when it came to that. So, Emmanuel, thank you so much for what you do for Dreamcatcher. And thank you so much for stopping by Jacasa Radio. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Playing all the hits on 93.5 FM, online, and on our app. Available for download from the App Store and Google Play.